Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus and today I've got an Earthshaker proxy that I found from a couple of guys who are making 3D miniatures uh, on Etsy and that's how to find them 3D miniatures on Etsy. Um, this one here makes no claim to be of you know, a, a rip-off Games Workshop in any way, shape or form. It's a 28mm heavy artillery cannon. Um, it's me, I'm calling it an Earthshaker because really um, I I think it looks like one and I think it's um, something that I've always wanted and never been able to get hold of. So this one isn't um, uh, like a cast, this one's 3D printed. Uh, it's the first thing I've ever had 3D printed so it was quite exciting for me to get it and I hope you like it too. So these two recoil legs just glue together nice and simple, you get detail on both sides and then it's the breach into the breach block uh, and as I've laid out the components there so you can see how they all fit together so breach goes into the breach block goes into the main part there which has the uh, recoil adapter ring on the top and you see it's it's quite simply built um, boom 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 like a jigsaw uh, the barrel's fantastically made as well 3d printed uh, like all the other parts it's slightly different colored but I think it's just because they were running low on the, the the white plastic it's exactly the same stuff the carriage itself goes together really well um, that's me putting one of the wrong wheels in there in the front but uh, there's a pin that, that allows the can to actually rotate slightly and that piece locks it in position uh, so it can't fall off so that's it going on there so that's the legs they can move backwards and forwards to any angle you like uh, but they won't come off now so the next thing is the platform for the gun itself and um, it has a base it has two sides that glue together with little pins maybe I'm doing that off camera sorry oh no there we go so um, they just glue together it creates a, a nice little envelope for the uh, the cannon to sit in and um, I found that you can move it up and down but I just glued it at its maximum elevation because why would you have an earth shaker that wasn't at its maximum elevation let's be honest so it's brilliant it's so simple and it fits together so well um, genius absolutely genius and it's, it's a small company from Sweden a two guys uh, friends I think uh, who decided one day that they would try 3d printing uh, and this is what they come up with so I built it up I'm really really stoked um, you know considerably cheaper than uh, other manufacturers alternatives and in the next video I'm going to paint it up and see what we can come up with but it's as, as a first for a 3d print uh, I'm very very pleased in the next couple of years the fidelity will get even higher and you know goodness knows what we'll be able to print at home so I hope you've enjoyed this I'm terribly sorry for being away so long it's a real life commitment I'm afraid but now I'm back and I've got a couple of videos over the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for some more thanks very much for watching guys and if you'd like to comment like and subscribe that would be amazing thank you cheers bye bye